Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of the Fish Fill Pain campaign series. What an amazing journey has been creating awareness for sea animals across Australia. We had a lot of ups and downs and highs and lows and did some epic stunts and we got a lot of media which is great. We had some you know intense moments and clashes and battles on the streets but all in all I think it was a really great campaign to raise awareness for so the forgotten victims of the ocean and shout out to Sea Spiracy, the documentary which inspired us doing the tour. Thank you to the team for all of your help. So we're going to leave you with the top 15 moments from the Fish Fill Pain campaign series and we hope you enjoyed watching them as much as we enjoyed creating them. Can I just look at the hooks? I want one that's gonna that's gonna really stab into the face to pull them out. Or the you know one that won't um, that with a good barb on it so that it, they can't escape. I like supporting the the fish industry because yeah. yeah, I like the taste. If it yeah. used to be alive, mm. I, I'll eat it basically. Yeah. Just anything that used yeah. to be alive. Yellowfin. It's a yellowfin tuna, I think. Have you seen this? So this hole in the head here is where they've, this tuna has been stabbed in the head on the boat to kill them. See, straight through there. I think these crabs, they might be alive. Yeah, yeah. they're just barely alive. It's in there tied up. This one here is looking, see? Terrified, probably. Hello. Hello, Mr. Pelican. They think we're gonna feed them. I reckon the, the other guys feed them, eh? I've never, I don't think I've ever seen pelicans up this close. Maybe when I was a little kid. I've never had a photo with pelicans. That's a great, that's the coolest thing ever. Look how adorable their little faces are. Less cruelty. I will say, you have to, you do have to actually eat meat. If you, this is all about meat. You have to really do have to eat meat as you're a kid. You can do it when you're actually like, you can eat, you know, vegetables all your life when you're actually like an owl. But there's actually been scientifically proven that you have to actually eat meat to, to keep yourself alive, to keep your, you know, your immune system, stuff like that to actually be alive. So, so you're saying that scientists have now proven that you can't be a plant-based child? No, you can't. Okay, because you, what, what will happen to you? Because your whole immune system will just shut down. So you're saying that kids, if kids don't eat fish or animals, yeah. they'll actually die? I wouldn't say kids preferably, I'm saying like, you know, kids between like literally newborn. Oh, well, let's say a newborn and a toddler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do newborns eat? Well, you know, they eat milk. Mother's milk, yeah? Yeah, mother's milk, yeah. Not from a cow, no, mother's milk's mother's, ideal yeah, food yeah. for them. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so what did this study actually say that you're, you're citing here? Well, no, it's just saying that they actually have to eat meat and they meat. actually have to consume what, what is it? What is it in meat that they need? They need the um, yeah the protein and their carbs in there. You their need protein. There's car there's no carbs in meat, by the way, brother. There's a yeah yeah. yeah. yeah like so, protein and like stuff. Okay, like so you that. can't get protein. So protein is the essential nutrient that growing children need. Yeah. Okay. Do you think there's protein in plants? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but still. So yeah. why can't we get protein from plants? Because I mean, it's not enough for them. Yeah. It's, it's not enough. How much does a baby need? Well, I I'm not really. Well, they need more. So you're saying a full-grown adult can eat just vegetables, right? But a little kid needs way more protein than a full-grown adult. Yeah, because they're growing. Yeah. Because okay. you think that kids need to kill animals to grow or they'll die, basically. And you're citing some study that I've never heard of. Yeah. Yeah. Because I like my, my niece, she's five and she's vegan. Yeah. yeah. She's been vegan her whole life. Yeah. 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 She's not dead yet. But like, I, like, so I'm just, like, you're, you're saying something that's not actually true. That's I all. I mean, it is, but right. Yeah. Well, kids don't die if they're vegan. There's plenty of vegan kids. I know people have been vegan their entire life. Just wondering, do you guys have any uh, like small whales or uh, like porpoises or anything like that? No. Like dolphin, sashimi. Hey, friend, it's illegal to eat dolphin and whale in Australia. Is it illegal to eat dolphins in Australia? I'm pretty sure it's illegal to eat dolphins. Eat what? Dolphins? Or small whales, porpoises? Yes, we do that. No. You can't. No. Because we're, we could in Japan. Yeah, no, they're on protected species list in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Because uh, with uh, tuna, when we go out tuna fishing, they get caught in the nets all the time. So we didn't think... Yeah, no. But the tuna here are caught on online anyway. Online? Yeah, Sometimes, they don't, they don't, yeah, they don't net for them here. 
we get the bycatch all the time with the dolphins. We just throw them back in. We got sand in my delicious vegan fish, um, which I wanted to keep. But anyway, we'll put that there. Bit of sand, never hurt no one. We'll leave this for the seagulls. They'll be like, what's this? Oh, is this a bit of fish? Oh no, it's actually vegan fish. Oh wow, I'm not gonna go vegan now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. It's been a long week. <laughs> if the cops come, I'll yeah. wait for them and I'll we'll come over and talk to them about that because I'm just curious. Yeah, you can. You can as far as I knew, if, if it's a no, you can threat. you can do whatever you like, but I, it's my job just to explain uh, to you. Uh, you need to you're only doing your job. job. Yeah, I'm, only, I'm challenging it because that's, I want to do my no, job No, that's too. fine. That's cool. When the cops come over and talk to them as well, because uh, I just want to make do sure. You like. If, if I'm going to be arrested, you're smart because you should have checked before you came on site. I'm not insulting you, am I? I don't care. I didn't insult you. I don't care. Yeah. So why are you insulting me? I can do whatever I like. I can say whatever I like. You can. I'm just. Wondering why you're not keeping the respect. I, I can say, I can say yeah. whatever I want. Yeah. So basically, this is a public space, but we can't film here because it's run by the government. Because you government should side. know that. But if it's a cop shop, I'm allowed to film. You, you should know that. Ask the cops about the cop shop. I don't know about the cop shop. Okay. okay, it doesn't matter what species. You said you can't fish anywhere. You, you Sorry. You, you said you can't catch any fish. From May 21st onwards. Really? Fish yeah. Here. Fish feel pain. They suffer. Okay. We're starting. To, we're starting to protect the sea animals here. Okay. And not only just the fish he's targeting. But the lines that snap off, okay, they get caught in turtles' faces. Okay, uh, there was a flathead down here, just a gentleman told me, had a hook and a sinker in their face swimming around. Mm. If you can imagine how painful that would be for the animal. So uh, we don't feel like this, this is a hobby that people do. It's a hobby, it's a pastime. It's like skateboarding or playing darts, except you're playing with the fish's I catch pain. Them to eat them. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and like. kill them straight away. Yeah, well, you know, we, we also believe that because they, they have consciousness that you're taking their, their oh. experience of life. Are you saying the boat, boats aren't allowed to fish either? No, no, no. no the, because they drag them up the rock. No, no, no. no. The well, rocks. these boats here, will, the, the, the legislation will be enacted on to those boats yeah. as well from uh, May 21st. It we start. ridiculous. It's just fish. <laughs> they're, they're only fish? Yeah, only fish. But we were talk, there's a study that just recently yeah, come out. No, that, I don't want to know about it. It's you stupid. don't want to? Okay, stupid. okay. Yeah, stupidest rule of it. But the... Well, you know, we protect dogs. We protect dogs with dog cruelty laws. It'll be a, it'll be an off. They feel pain the same way dogs do. So this is where the law is stemming from. It's going to be a five. It's going to be a five thousand dollar fine. So just letting you know from May twenty first onwards. No. It's not. It's it's not a joke. They feel pain. They feel pain and suffer. New study. Yeah, of course they do. They do. They're like so a dog. What? So what? If someone was torturing a dog, we would call the RSPCA, you know what I mean? I don't know about it. That's just... That's just... Yeah, no, so I understand your anger, but like, you know, we've got to think of the fish as well. That's all. Think of the sea animals as well. Yeah. You don't actually need to have soy... Uh, Mock meat? Substitute, yeah. Yeah, but what if someone wants a fish burger? None we don't want them to abuse the fish and then we, can, then we say, okay, we well, can have some and beans cheese. and fruit and they're like, well, I don't want beans and fruit. Yeah. I want a burger. So then we say, well, instead of killing the animals and torturing the animals, you can have a burger, but just made of this. I would still say, I would I'd prefer you to eat the Monsanto soy over stabbing that chicken in the face. Mm. You know what I mean? So I think I differ with it. Yeah, yeah. So you'd prefer the chicken get their head cut off, but I, and, and I would rather eat the non-sentient plant yeah. food that doesn't suffer. It's still sentient. A plant is sentient? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think sentience is? Sentient is to like have consciousness, to mm -hmm. have a uh, soul, to have vital life force. All okay. plants. So plants have a soul, soul, and a, yes. and a consciousness. Do yes. you think plants are self-aware? They might be. Now, do you do you believe they are? I think they're sentient. So do you think like a carrot, for instance, is the same sentience as a pig? I think they both are sentient beings, and it's the way that. And they suffer the same. Do you think they suffer the same? Um. It's not me to say which suffers more. Well, do you think you, like if you had a human being, being, do you think a human being and a carrot suffer the same? Maybe. So would you rather me hurt the carrot over the person or which one? You wouldn't saying, choose? Would you say, no, look, if there's a choice that's right now between... Western way of thinking, I think. What you well, way, the way is like this or that, a, X or Y. No, well, I'm trying to figure out whether you actually believe that a carrot... So I think it's ridiculous. A carrot doesn't have a brain, a nervous system. They don't have consciousness. We yeah, can test this with problem. science. That's the problem. Yeah. That we have, like, limited our idea of this Pain. environment and, and ecology to, like, uh, to hierarchies. And yeah. we need to be thinking about the soil. So do you, but do you so think, like, there should be hierarchies of, like, like, value? So, like, that rock should not be held to the same 
you know, degree of moral standard as that dog. Imagine like, imagine if we did, you know, we did all the, to all the a rock. Standards. Imagine if we did. But why would we care about a rock? I'm just saying it's part of the ecosystem. Imagine if we mm -hmm. did. If we cared about a rock? If, uh, imagine I mean, if we cared about all sentient beings in the same way. And so our yeah, way a of sentient beings, yes, but I don't think a, a rock is sentient. This so is what I mean. We don't need to agree on that. Yeah. I'm already veg anyways. It's more like a philosophy. Hey, my brother. I'm not your brother. Why, why not? No? You don't believe fish feel pain? Well, so even grass, they try and... Sorry, mate? Grass and trees. They grass they feels pain? Yeah, and so the trees. So, so in do, other words, uh, everybody should eat nothing. So, no, I'm saying we shouldn't eat animals that obviously feel pain and I, grass doesn't. I'm a vegetarian. Cows are vegetarian, sheep are vegetarian. I eat both of them. That makes me a vegetarian, doesn't it? So if I eat you, that would make me a vegetarian? No, cannibal. That's a different thing. Why is it different? Is it bad to eat people? Huh? Is it bad to cause pain you, to people? You probably do. Is it bad to cause pain to people? Go get a brain transplant, mate. Is it bad to cause pain to people? But is it the same to cause pain to a person as it is to cause pain to grass? Well, they're all the same. Grass and people, we're the same. Yeah. Salmon farming. Yeah, aquarium. Yeah, aquarium. Yeah, people come in to look at the animals and think aquarium. they're... Aquarium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is like a prison for the animals. But... Uh, fish farming? People will go in and eat fish. Fish market? Yeah, yeah. Aquarium. Yeah. Do you see why I'm here? People are coming to look at fish, right? Like these animals are killed as bycatch, uh, so I'm people can eat fish. Yeah, but do you, I'm not at the do you eat fish? I'm, I'm not buying fish. You don't eat I'm fish? Not fish? I'm at the aquarium. So you don't eat fish at all? No, I'm at the aquarium. No, no, I mean, I mean, like, do you eat fish in your lifestyle? Uh, I'm at the aquarium. So you get here to look at the fish, but you eat the fish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not at the fish farm. We don't agree with fish farms either. It's cool. But what about wild fishing? I'm at the aquarium. Yeah, like sharks and seals and turtles are killed as bycatch. Yeah. We don't agree with that. Yeah, but it's a reality of eating fish, isn't it? Yeah. Which I'm trying to t teach people about. Yeah. We'll come and look at the fish, but then we'll sit yeah. down and eat them and cause pain to them and suffering. So you couldn't understand, like, the sort of double standard of coming to pay to look at the amazing fish that you also pay to be butchered, murdered, dragged onto boats, killed in fishing lines, you know. He's not eating fish now, but the guy eats fish. It's obvious, you know what I mean? It's like aquarium. It's like, yes, these animals that you're, you know, fetishizing and going, oh, wow, look at this animal here, are being, they're being murdered in an eternal holocaust in the oceans because people want a seafood platter. That's the point. Massive double standards. No, you're right. What's up, man? Yeah, no, I just want to say hi, man. Oh, cool, brother. I, I, I would love to see, I, I used to do that job in salmon farm, salmon commercial day. Oh, did you? Did you cut the, the eggs I out of them? do everything. And they inseminate the yeah, eggs? Everything. Oh, it's crazy, eh? I was vegetarian at 15, but I was doing that job at 21, 23. Uh, I used to dive to the depth of 50 meters to clean up the corpses and all that shit. Oh, because it's farming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is one of my entry-level students. It's me on the video, but uh, my student recorded it. Uh -huh. that's, a, that's a great North Shark there. Yeah, this is a beautiful moment of connection and interaction. There is body language from her and from me. This is a juvenile endangered great North Shark. And um, I need more people to see this because they can relate, they, they understand that there is a connection to be made, to have with underwater animals as there is with land animals. Yeah. Bless you, my brother. Yeah, Keep up your great work with the sea yeah, animals, man, eh? Thanks, mate. How cool is that, dude? He worked in a salmon farm. He's like, teaches free diving to, for, so people connect with sea animals. He's like having like crazy moments with sharks underwater. He's like rescuing turtles from, you know, plastic that they're eating, fishing nets and stuff. Like, when does that happen? Literally the most amazing sea life activist vegan just walks past, who worked on a f salmon, f salmon farm, you know, while we're doing this, teaching people that fish feel, actually feel pain and don't want to die today. So I thought you might want to know. None of us want to die. Yeah, so we shouldn't kill anyone, should we? Oh, somebody's got to eat it, otherwise you, a lot of people survive on the fish, they can't help themselves.
right now you could go get a vegan burger or you could you could cut a chicken's head off but and eat the chicken. years ago you couldn't cut a vegan burger. Well, it's not 100 years ago. Luckily, it's right now when we're having this debate so right now on the street. Why have you all of a sudden and people like you decided that it's wrong for us to do things we've been doing Because for torturing, years. you believe animals can suffer? I think certain animals can suffer, yes. Well, well, well okay. Dog, do you I believe a, cat, a, 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 be cruel to a dog? Well, a cat why not? A well, what if I wanted to eat the dog? Huh? What if I wanted to eat the dog? Well, if you want to eat the dog because you had no choice, you'd eat the dog. Uh, well, I, no, I've got a choice right now between a vegan burger and a dog. I choose the dog because I want it. It's traditional. I like the taste of dog right. meat. I need protein. All of the arguments that you use, I want to eat the dog. you about us and here. You're not talking about people who eat dogs. No, no, no. What's the difference dog? between a dog and a cow? See, this is where you're tripping over. Would you be against me torturing a cow? Yeah, sure. Okay, why if the cow doesn't matter morally? If they have no intelligence, who cares? Because they just see it as a stupid act. No, what, but, but if they don't matter morally, why would you care if I just tortured a cow? Because that, what you're doing is, is immoral. Wait, wait a second. So what I'm doing is immoral if I just torture a cow, but when you pay for them to go into a slaughterhouse where they have their throats slashed it's open, is not, is not immoral. The really difference between, you know there's a difference. Animals are tortured in slaughterhouses you if you haven't seen lately. The difference between, you, you know we've got rules against stuff like that. You know that, you just... Hey, activists leave cameras in slaughterhouses all the time. I've been doing this for eight years. Yeah. I've seen a lot of suffering in slaughterhouses. You're kidding yourself if you don't think if torture talk, happens in animal agriculture. Torture and people go cutting, like cutting off people's legs and cutting off no, no, no. cows. Cows are tortured in the dairy industry. They have their horns cut off. Look, They're disputing. I don't want to discuss it with you anymore. Okay. We talked about fish feel pain. They probably do. You try, I just feel like you, you're trying to justify something you know is wrong. That's no, you're all. You're trying to justify something you think is right. I also think that you have no right to inflict your you have, views on other people. You have no right to inflict your no, views no, no, on no, innocent I animals. Don't no, you do. You, 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 no, are, no, no, you have no right to abuse I animals. I haven't inflicted anything on you. No. You're doing the Had a conversation, but it's now fine. it's clear that you don't view animals as moral. That's, that's, uh, my, that's my privilege. Yeah. You, 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 you treat them your... with contempt. I have, have I said to you, I think you should change your views? Huh? Have I changed No, but once? you can have Hold your on. views. Have I said it to you once? You need to change your views. Once. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, you know why? Because I don't interfere with your life like you try to interfere with everybody Well, you, you abuse animals through your lifestyle. That's all I want to tell you. You abuse animals through your lifestyle. And uh, you can have that view, but it's an immoral one. Anyone coming? Yeah. Are the guards coming? Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? How are you today? Good. What are you up to? We're just uh, handing out some dolphin meat samples. Pack it up, mate. It's, uh, it's sustainable. Dolphin meat. Taste test. Right. We can't do this here. No, not here. You're on private property, mate. You've got to pack up. You've got to go. Really? Yep. This the is. Moment, the moment you've crossed into our car park, this is our car park. You can't. I can't give samples of dolphin meat. Not I'm trying to here. promote the dolphin industry. Not in here, mate. Pack it up. It's time to go. Huh. Oh. I thought this would support SeaWorld because uh, these are all the ex training dolphins. So. Do you want to take a sample? You're free. No. They are free. No. They got. Omega threes. So where where are we, where are we allowed to hand out dolphin meat? Not in here. So how far away? Just well, where you were protesting before is probably about as fast as you can. I'm not protesting. I'm not, not part not of this. Here, I'll just I'm not a protest. No, no, no. I'm packing up for you, mate. Yeah. It's fine. I'm not a protesting. No, I don't. They're ex extremists. They are. I actually eat the animals. So. All right. I'll pack this up. I'll move it along. Thank you. Boys. Thanks for being so kind today, gentlemen. We'll be handing out dolphin meat out the front, though if you guys want to try some. I mean, I'm trying to really just, you know, what are they going to do with the dolphins after they've finished exploiting them, really? God said we can eat fish, so there's nothing wrong with eating fish. No, God did not say anything like that. God said we can't torture humans for no reason. No, of course you can't. You can't kill them, you can't murder them. That's one of the Ten Commandments. You're not now, can, can I torture a cow? A cow is not a human and it's not made in the image of so God. Can I torture a cow? They used to sacrifice cows in the Old no, 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 Testament. That's not what I asked you. In a vacuum, yeah. right now, mm. can I torture a cow? Of course not. In why Europe. Would you, why would you torture no, no. it? Did God tell do you I can't torture a cow? It doesn't say torture, but you are allowed to I, I just want to, me and you right now, is it okay if I torture a cow without justification? No. Why would you do it? Did God say I can't? <laughs> yeah, look. He said you can see. See how you're going from your conscience to God and back. Did God say I can't torture a cow? No, he didn't. So therefore, he didn't, so he, therefore I can. 
Okay, you can if you like, but there's... No, no, okay. So it's fine in your worldview because God didn't say it for me to torture a cow. See how you're going from your conscience, your own morality, and God. You're confused. Are you allowed to eat dogs? Um... Bible, does it say you're allowed to eat dogs? It doesn't say anything about eating dogs. There's a dog, there's a dog walking around here somewhere. I can go and cut the head off a dog right now and eat him because I'm allowed to. Would you have a problem with that? Honestly? I don't think so. I don't see anything in the Bible that says you can kill a dog, but I don't believe it's correct to kill a dog because you're not going to, unless you were, you know, desperately hungry and you had to you're eat something. You're not desperately something. hungry, you right. kill chickens. Yes. You're not desperately hungry, so why can't I kill the dog? You're avoiding it because I know you don't want to tell me it's okay to kill a dog. Because you've got morals and you've got the Bible. The Bible doesn't say it's wrong to kill a dog. Okay, so I can kill dogs now, okay, in your worldview. Okay, okay. Kill no worries. If you wanted to eat a dog because you were hungry, or let's say, do well, it. If they're my dog, I can kill them and eat them? Yeah, okay. you could. Alright, no worries. You don't, do you eat? That's tuna, man. That's not tuna. Oh, oh, taste it. Oh, taste it? You yeah. don't take food off people in the street offering me sh oh, okay. a can that says dolphin meat when it's obviously not dolphin meat. You're obviously filming this as a joke. No. Oh, no, no, no. You're full of sh No, no, no. You're full of No, no, no. What do you mean? This is dolphin. Yes, yes, It's yes, dolphin, yes. brother. You're full of Why don't you, why, why, why do you get so angry about dolphins? Because you're a f***wit. Why? You're a f***wit. Why is that? Well, you're going to beat up about dolphin meat, mate. Yeah, it's different, I get it. Why are you talking about beating you up? I'm calling you a you're getting all aggressive? Physical violence. You look like you're getting... I called you a f*** quit. Oh, I didn't well, say physical right. violence, I just said you're a f*** head. Oh, why are, you so, why are you so angry, mate? That's what I want to know. Because I'm like, you f***ing dolphin You're yeah. getting so angry, you're bro. You're you, you like, you must really like dolphins, eh? Mate, just leave him. Well, I like dolphins a lot more than I like your f***ing ugly head. Yeah. Stop, moron. He's a bit angry about that. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I know. Well, let me just tell you, like, right now what it actually is. It's this. Do not engage with him, mate. Do not engage with him. Here you go. Yeah. I knew it had to be done with that tuna. Hey, don't touch the camera, man. Don't assault the camera, man. You're getting filmed, brother, so I just calm down. There's cameras everywhere. You can't assault people in this, brother. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> It's uh, mostly trawling nets, dragging yeah. massive and amounts. They leave all of the stuff in the ocean as and well. They dump them. They dump them back. This. Some salmon. What's this, mate? Come over here. Are you? You're being scared. Okay. Are you scared? Okay, what are you scared of, mate? Nothing. Then come and face me. Come and face me, fish boy. Yeah. Come over here. I'll, I'll let fish come boy on. take the floor, mate. I'll leave you to it. No worries, brother. Thanks. For so what's this? Steady. What did you put here? I just don't understand why. I don't feel comfortable eating fish. Well, uh, because they suffer and feel pain. So why would I want to cause it to them? Not all fish suffer. And pain. Did you just buy that? No, I've had it. You've had it. Yeah, you can okay. take it. So, so why, so, so why did you dump it over here and run off? Uh, I'm not too sure. Are you a bit of a coward? No, definitely not. Like, hey, so I think uh, fish feel pain, which they do. They're sentient. They're conscious beings, and they deserve not to be tortured and killed, so we can have a five-minute meal. So that's my position, and you, you've got this, yep. which is a cut-up animal, and it's probably a factory farm salmon. Maybe. Most salmon here in Australia is factory farmed on big uh, fish farms. Not necessarily. Well, uh, let's have a look. Where's it from? Could be fat. Well, let's just say it's not. This fish, this animal went through immense suffering, so you could, you know, dump this on the table. So why do you think that's justified? Everyone has a choice in on either they can choose to eat it or not. They could. I don't, I don't see why it needs to be preached that you shouldn't be eating any sort of fish. Well, uh, you, sh that, you could say that about any type of animal, then. Well, I don't eat any type of animal, because uh, for the same reason. Like, I don't particularly like you, no. but you know, might not particularly like a fish, right? Right. But uh, I still wouldn't want someone to hurt you, and I would stop them right now if they tried to, right? Especially if it was for something like a sandwich. You know what I mean? So like this sandwich, you can literally get any other filling. Vegan fillings that don't contain animals. True. This lasts five minutes in your mouth and then you flush it down the toilet. Yeah? yeah? True. And that was our animal's entire existence. That's the only existence they get. Very true, but that could be on any type of animal. It doesn't have to be on a fish or anything. Yeah. Which is why we don't, I don't consume any of them. Yeah. Because when you buy this, let's say you bought this from the shop, you paid for everything that happened to that animal. 
could be true or could not be true. Well, you subsidise the industry when you pay for the product, you sub supply and demand. True. But that's the same as anything, even vegetables, fruit. Yeah, well, the fruit and vegetables don't suffer. No. They're not conscious beings. A banana. Very true. I don't care about a, a banana. But, Very like, true. I care about a pig, a chicken, a dog, yeah. a human, yeah. a fish. Very true. So, that's all. But you can take your, uh, your fish. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, take care. So there you have it, they were the top 15 moments from the campaign. Comment down below what was your favourite moment and if you'd like to know where the full video is for each section, we'll leave them linked down below. Thank you all for watching and supporting. Thank you to Seaspiracy. Thank you for leaving the fishies alone and we'll see you all in the next campaign. Let's do it.